What it is, what it do, it's your boy Jason Refuse back with another video. I'm just gonna get straight into the video, alright? The worst case I think I ever seen in my life. This dude, I guess he's on trial for murder, double murder, triple murder, whatever. He murdered this chick and his and her kids, and now he in court. They offered him a lawyer. They said he said, nah, I'm gonna fight this myself. I'm gonna fight this myself. I heard this on the news, but I ain't believe it. But I'm finally sitting down and like looking into this joint right now. This joint look crazy. He's ridiculous. Before we get into the video, shout out to all the uh, returning subscribers. Shout out to all the new subscribers. Thank y'all. We almost have 500 subscribers, so thank you for showing the love consistently. I appreciate y'all. Let's get straight to that video, all right? Let's get it in. Look at me, I'm on. 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 something I didn't do and I am not sorry for the things I did do. Hold on. What? Hey, thank you. He think he done Zell Washington, boy. These are things I did do. Why he, why he acting all animated? I'm You're not, not going to raise your voice again. I'm not, not going to raise my voice again. again. I'm not. I will have you removed from this courtroom. I can you without you being present. Yes, ma'am. You don't conduct I understand, yourself. young. Thank you. <clears throat> but I will say, I'm sorry for your loss. 19 years I've been at this job. I have seen human beings killed at the hands of others in every way imaginable. You name it, I've seen it. Shooting, stabbings, drownings, suffocating, blown apart by uh, cars from DUI manslaughter cases. Horrible things. Oh, damn, bro. This is the worst case I have ever seen as far as the facts go. Um, I doubt that. You just... I doubt that. You just said you've seen people get blown apart and all type of stuff. I doubt this is the worst case you've ever seen. He murdered somebody. You just said you didn't see niggas get blown up, all type of shit. Now he's the worst case? Because nah, he got drugs in his head. I, um, I have been working with the Department of Justice for about 15 years. Mm -hmm. And when he said that he retrieved the body of Bernadette O'Neill from the home, and all he could do was sob. He took every ounce I had not to start sobbing, too. Because there is no way any person with any feeling could have witnessed or seen the photos of what occurred that night and not be haunted for the rest of your life. I know I will be. For the rest of my life, I'll be haunted. By what I saw as far as the evidence. It was oh. the abject cruelty of it all. The abject cruelty. And I'm confused because I don't know much about the case. Did he like, did he chop a body up or something like that? What am I missing? I don't know if I'm missing something maybe. Fox 13, Tampa Bay. All right, this is Florida. I'm not I'm not even surprised, bro. You know, I, I, I was aware because I reviewed a lot of the discovery ahead of time, as you well know, did a lot of in-camera inspection of a lot of documents. And I was aware that there was some evidence at least that when you needed to recover from your gunshot wound, that neither your parents nor your Aisha, Ms. Robinson, would let you come recover at their home. I don't know if it's true or not, but I'm just, I, okay, I'm not gonna get into a dispute. I just, I just mentioned there was some evidence referencing that in the records. And 
I'll let you think about, because I know I knew that Miss Barron was not with you romantically at the time. Bro, you know you are a screwed up, fucked up individual when you get shot. Your baby mother, your mother and your father won't let you come back to the house to heal. You fucked up, bro. You're fucked up, bro. He must be some wicked nigga, right? Like. And I knew that she just out of the goodness of her heart mm. let you come stay with her. And it is beyond tragic that that critical decision ended in so much horror for her mm -hmm. and for her children. Yeah. It is unspeakable. Equally cool. What happened as a result of that one decision? Um, the way that Miss Barron died was horrific, and that 911 call, which captured truly all of it. Mm. I, you heard, and everyone who's heard that 911 call mm. heard a death scream. If anybody ever wants to know what it sounds like before a human being dies, knowing that their death is imminent, that's exactly what it is. That was a death scream. Mm -hmm. We're going to see if it's true. But what happened to little what the fuck? and to little What? Hold on. Hold on, y'all. So Robert made me eggs and bacon this morning. No, that's the last of it right there. No, I'm chewing in y'all ass, but hold on. He really said we gonna see if it's true, bro. He planned on murdering again. This is crazy. I'm gonna focus on Ronivia because she was special. And you can tell Miss Barron had done everything she could to create a beautiful home for her family. Mm. I noticed that the um, Ronivia's bedroom, before you set it on fire, you can tell she tried so hard to make her feel like a princess. She did, Kenyatta did everything she could. And I noticed too in the kitchen on the refrigerator, she put up magnets that said faith, love, family, hope. And then you know what else happened at the refrigerator during that night? It got splattered with blood all over it due to what happened. Little Ronivia, she couldn't scream, she couldn't run away, and she witnessed what you did to her mother for shooting her mother in the arm with the gunshot. She knew. And the horror that that child Yo, suffered. Wait. He shot his baby mother, then stabbed her, then burned the body? Bro. And she already had a life where she was born with challenges regarding her physical and her mental disabilities. Mm. But the pain and suffering that she suffered that night at your hands, mm. unspeakable, absolutely unspeakable. Mm. And at the moment, that first time you struck her with that hatchet, and little Ronnie testified that he, all he could see was tears coming out of his sister's face. At that moment, that child knew she knew she was being betrayed in the cruelest, most tragic and sorrowful way that a child could ever be betrayed. She was being betrayed by her parent, the one person that should be there to what? protect her children and love them and keep them from harm. And that was the last her thing father? that child felt before she passed on from this earth was your utter, cruel betrayal to her. And I read somewhere, and I don't know if it's true or not, I have no... Damn, this is crazy. You could really, like, hear the heartbreak in the judge's voice. Like, you could hear the judge's voice cracking, all type of crazy shit. This is crazy. This is sad, yo. Your daughter? How you do this to your daughter, bro? These dudes out here be crazy. These Florida dudes, shout out to Florida. I, I, you know, I love Miami. I love Florida. Surrounding areas, but, bro, y'all be on one over there, bro. Mad emotional. Extra emotional, bro. But I read somewhere that souls pick their lives and that they know exactly how difficult their lives are going to be before they enter into this work. And I don't know if that's true or not, but if it is, Ronivia O'Neill is one of the bravest souls I have ever Oh, hold on, y'all. It's another video. In my 54 years on this planet. Victor's mother. One of the bravest ever, ever. 
because she suffered. Hold on, y'all. We're going to get it right into the next one. No, the total concealment of your firearm is a tactical advantage. It gives you the power and anonymity to decide how to handle the situation. Here at Urban Carry, we've made it our mission. To oh, this is a dope-ass commercial right here. I'm going to keep this commercial thing. I like this. Better designs, better style, feel, and comfort. The Lock Leather G3 is the result of thousands of hours of research and development. Generations of gun knowledge. I like that, but I don't like how I can't pull it out if I'm sitting down. I want to be able to... Quick, you understand what I'm saying? I want to be able to pull shirt up, boom, that fast. I want to be able to do it that fast. Years of applying good feedback. It has led us to deliver on not only what we wanted, but what you wanted. All right, let me get up out of here. We We're starting this here at six with this boy's act of bravery after surviving the unthinkable. I just saw my dad holding a shotgun with my mom, like, that mom was screaming at him. That little boy testifying at his father's murder trial. He's the son of Ronnie O'Neill, his father on trial for the murder of the boy's mother and sister, and also for trying to kill Ronnie, allegedly. Now, because he's representing himself, this creates the unusual scenario of the father cross-examining, questioning his own son. The, the man is accused of trying what? to kill him, and now he is basically questioning his son's testimony fox 13's aaron mesmer is live at the courthouse in hillsborough county aaron no nah, that's this this no nah, this is disgusting bro this is disgusting by this video screen because the boy is in a remote location this um had to take incredible courage by this now 11 year old boy yeah, Chris, he was incredibly brave. He showed unbelievable composure in that remote location as he gave his testimony this morning, followed and, and was had to describe uh, all of these horrific events that occurred that evening. Um, what you're about to hear is part of little Ronnie's testimony. He's 11 years old now, followed by some of the cross-examination that he experienced uh, with his father, who, as you said, is representing himself. This was the first time that they have seen each other and spoken to each other since that uh, the attack uh, on March 2018. And state, you ready to proceed? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, I just saw my dad holding a shotgun and my mom, like, that mom was screaming at him. And your father had a shotgun. What happened next? What did he do? My, my mom ran into my sister's room. My mom ran into my sister's room and turned my father into the closet. And then my dad said, come in here and uh, come kill this uh, reviewer. Did you hear any shots from the shotgun before that? Yes. How many times? One. Was there a time when your mother was able to get out of the closet? Bro, it just goes to show you, bro. In any community, bro, these stuff could happen in any community. This is sad, bro. You see, it looked like they live in the suburbs, bro. It looks beautiful there, bro. But one thing you can't escape no matter where you go is unstable people, bro. Unstable human beings. These dudes ain't got no head on their shoulders, man. His son. How you cross-examining your own son, bro? This is crazy, bro. This, I, I don't think I've ever seen nothing this wild before, bro. This is, this is sad, bro. It was like, it's outside, and then I just saw my dad chase me. What do you remember happening next? My dad told me to walk around and say, like, some words. And do you remember what words your father told it you? It looked like he's laughing. Uh, Allahu Akbar? Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar? Yes. Did he do something to your sister? Yes, he uh, hit her with an axe. Oh. And then he went in the garage and followed him. He put, like, he put me on the ground. And then he like, had his foot on top. I was on my stomach. He had his foot on top of me. And he was holding me down. And he was like lighting a match. Mr. Neal, any questions? Oh, How are you doing, Ryan? Good. His hand is burned. It's good to see you, man. Did you see me? And you hear how kids are just so forgiving? Like, he's like, yo, it's good to see you, man. He's like, yo, it's good to see you, too. Bro. Shoot your mom. No. Did I hurt you that night of this incident? 
Yes. I did. And how did I hurt you? You stabbed me. And investigators have said that Ronnie O'Neill tried to set his son and their house on fire uh, before this night of, of violence ended, according to investigators. Again, that was the first time that, that father and son have seen each other since that violent night back in March 2018. Uh, the boy's father, what you kind of heard there was him trying to call into question his, son recolle his son's recollection. Damn, I ain't even going to lie. I'm going to just end the video right here because in the beginning... Every, I don't I don't understand what's so funny about this video. A lot of people was telling me that this is a funny situation and the guy trying to represent himself was funny and I guess it probably is and to a certain extent, but once you think about everything that he did and like the people involved and the actual crime, the murder and everything, there's not really much humor in this video. I mean, so I'm just going to end this here, man. I don't, I don't, I don't want to delve too deep into this situation. This is a very, very sad situation. I mean, um, I hope that that kid is able to heal and trust people again, man, for real. Because from your own father, bro, seeing your father kill your mom, kill your little sister, and then try to set you on fire afterwards, that's crazy, man. Listen, man, Jayski Reviews, I'll see you on the next video. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, shout out to the new, the new subscribers. Shout out to the, the returning subscribers. I appreciate y'all help. Thank you. 500 subscribers, we're coming. All right, let's go. Next step after that, 1,000. This is how we moving. JSC reviews. See you on the next video, man. Right. Sorry for something I didn't do, and I am not sorry for the things I did do. Hold on. What? Look at me. I'm on. Look at me. I'm on. Look at me. I'm on. Look at me, I'm on. Can't stop, keep going. Can't stop, keep going. Can't stop, keep going. Can't stop, keep going. Look at me, I'm on. Look at me, I'm on. Look at me, I'm on.